All right, here we go. We're about to go green. This is the uh, iRacing Le Mans series. Oh, and we just got the green flag. How, how about that? I'm starting in third place. No! Why do we start green? I'm, I'm not ready. She's son of a bitch. I already lost position. Huh? Let me freaking, bro. Oh, see you later, dude. Oh, there you go. Clear if you need it. Ah, oh, shit. All right, back in third. This is this is a race. It's an hour long. I freaked out there. I, I almost died. <laughs> and we're we're starting third, which is good. We have two incident points in a 60 minute race, so we gotta be careful. We're driving the Ford. There is one pit stop. A yellow flag appeared on screen, scared me. Hey, take it easy, man. I tend to overdrive a lot at Watkins Glen. Feels like it's easier to do here than other tracks. Two, minute eight, point seven, eight. Don't do that, Malone. Good oh boy. It'll take us a little bit to get into a rhythm, apparently. No. Nope. Could get DQ'd here. Two laps, three X. It's like a 300 lap race. We'll be fine. The Watkins Glen's your favorite track, Bill? We'll be all right. One minute forty three point six. A little bit more controlled. Green bar reflects it. So I think it's lap six is when the uh, LMP1 cars are going to be literally driving through our anus.
I got tunnel vision. I'm having trouble seeing past the car in front of me, you know, I get looking too much of the the car in front. Hey, Elias, welcome, dude. Put that car behind you, then you can see. Yep. Wild Bill gifted a sub to Cryptacular. Makes 117 gifted yeah. subs. Dropping this sub, right? I'll drop sub for two months in a row. Thanks, buddy. Try to get a run here. Pretty quick. Daniel Cruz, yeah, he is. He's a fast guy. Right now I'm racing the Ford. Exact same car we see in front of us. behind us for that matter. That leader's kicking ass. Where is he? Okay. Oh no, another off track. Left side, clear. Excited for the new Subaru. Yeah. Get out there, do some 360s on some rally cross jumps.
Yeah, I'm super pro at Rallycross. Yeah, I am really good. One time I finished a race. They're slicing, they're dicing. <laughs> These races can be pretty exciting with all the traffic. We really gotta keep an eye out. Why don't you drive the LMP1 car, Malone? Because it scares me. Plus, I think you have to be a certified astronaut to drive one. Pulling, pulling 100 miles an hour out of there. Yeah, I raced the LMP1 at the Nurburgring GP track. It was embarrassing. Have I raced it since Nurburgring GP? Uh, no. Wow, pit windows open already. Holy crap, really? That's weird. I don't know if I believe that or not. Wild Bill, I know it's gonna be great. We got six already. Lap nine. Might as well just chill behind him, save fuel.
Like, do I think if I can pass him, I could run away from him? Eh, maybe. I don't know what... <laughs> I didn't want to make a sudden move there. Damage, right? Yeah, no damage. <sighs> I haven't fun yet? Yeah. I should have just backed off. I I think a lot of that fell on me. He was probably a little flustered about what happened, and then he's trying to like regain shit. And I probably popped up on his right side pretty quick there. Crowstar, welcome. Daniel, welcome. So we lost. What was I in third place? We only lost two two spots. Lost ten seconds. Alright, well. Ten seconds, sixty minute race, not a big deal. Sweating. How many HPDs are in the race? Quite a few, actually. I'm surprised at that pit window. It's pretty big. I, mean, I think it started with like 19 gallons in this thing, so it's quite a bit. If pit windows open, go close it. One minute forty-four point two four. Are you One passing right me? Side. Four clear. Left side. Clear. Clear. I'm just trying to hold my racing line. It got a little awkward there. This HPD is so Still slow. Clear, clear, clear. Left side. All clear. Watch it. <laughs> Thirty-four months. Getting close to that next class. Oh, also, you know what that is, it. Whiskey Simp. Yeah, watch it. You know what the next class is, don't you? It's pro license. 
Hey, Whiskey Sim, appreciate you. Welcome back. 34 months, it's a long time. Clear. Good job. Let's go curling. Let's go curling. I think that's what I just said. Would you like to go curling with me? I just got a fresh broom. My chap runs the, uh, the Zamboni. No. One minute forty-five point five one. I want to go curling. Someone say curling? Yes. <laughs> Canadian Marauder, yeah, <laughs> right up your alley, dude. Was this a single split? I don't know. I know, Daniel. It's crazy. I'm, I'm so good at letting people pass me. Definitely single split. I mean, have you seen these people? Have you seen that number 10 car out there? Unbelievable. What the hell were you doing? What in the hell were you doing, mate? Oh, 800 IR guy in here? Yeah. That explains it. Or that, that confirms it, I mean, for one split. See lots of purple. Apex Racer dropping one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. Apex one, Racer, the best team. I had to count. I had to count in groups of a hundred. It's not easy. We got one, two, three, four, five. Thanks, Apex. <laughs> We're looking okay. We're fine. We're closing the gap. Used to be 10 seconds on Aiden. Now it's not. Oh, get through here. No, no. Oh, I'm going too fast. I'm scared of the spaceship. Don't hurt me. He's right up in my freaking grill. No, that's my anus. The grill's in front. Oh my goodness, that was scary. I think he's going to jet in there. Man, there's something about that corner. You wanted to touch your donkey, yeah. At least get a good sniff. I think I can still get second place, guys. I think I can do it. I did almost die. One minute forty-four point four. Let me say this: if I don't get DQ'd, I'll have a chance at second place. It's a little, it's a little, it's, it's a little bit better. Hey, Lando Norris, what's up, dude? I freaking I was going to the bus stop, and there's an LMP1 car. And you know how that goes. I was, I was in third. I was all over that second place guy. All over his ass. All over his rectum.
Alright, go, go, go. Go, Dan. Dan Gerano. Oh, jeez. Need a telescope. Take a look at my apex there. When they when I grow up, I do gonna be driving out of the one. Okay, I caught that. I caught. <laughs> the car wants to kill me. Actually, I hit one blade of grass and I almost died right there. Go, dude, you're so slow. Oh, yes. The cornering speed's about the same, really. It's just they have shorter braking zones and they're so fast out of the corner. But mid corner, it's. Most cars are all the same. Depending on the corner. Hey, starving. What's up, dude? And the tires are starting to go. Always oh, taking the outside lane. Oliver. You are driving awesome, bro. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm trying my best. Honk the horn. Was that Alt F4? Oh, shit. Someone's dead. <gasps> That's a freebie. Fatality. Boy, ladies and gentlemen, dead. One minute forty four point zero seven. Did he do it all by himself? I thought that was the leader at first. P2. Oh, Daniel Cruz is the leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 13 seconds up the road. Caught up to Aiden. See, the traffic makes it so everyone's kind of inconsistent, so you get your shot at it, you know? Hope this is a frictionless pass, but I could really go for some frictionless action right now. HPDs only look like they f they're fast. They feel like they're fast. Why the hell? Is your shirt a first foreshadow? I don't think any, I don't think any series is running at Sebring, so no. It's the only clean shirt I had. See this ending well.
Fish four months appreciated. What a gaggle. Go, dude. <sighs> HPD, man, I had to lift there. Leader pit road. Leaders on pit road. one. I knew he was going to come wide out of there by his trajectory. Yeah, F him. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that was a good bad one. Especially in traffic. You know, we haven't seen the last of is Daniel Gomez. He's in his cockpit like, you haven't seen the last of me! Alright, when do we got a pit? Seven laps. Hey, d Payne, what's up, dude? What's the word of the day? We don't do that anymore. Too much work. Yeah, Daniel, I was working on it. I just just got to look. You just got to be close enough to when an opportunity presents itself. You got to be there to take advantage of it, really. Get off that grass. Aiden lost a lot of time. see Left side. Clear. you guys here for the safety rating Left side. 
clear. Right side, all clear. My P3? Uh, yeah. Somebody might have pitted early, I don't know. I'm where I was before, it's just I'm further back. Seven second gap still between me and second. Still trying to make up that 10 seconds I lost for going off on the bus stop. Hey, the old damn race! Yeah, I haven't pitted either. Those guys in front of me haven't pitted either, so... We're all on the same timeline here. But I'll be going down here in about five laps, though. Oh, too fast. Get our fuel right here. 6.3. Left side. You're clear. Definitely getting a windshield tear off. Jinx it, but I haven't had an incident in a while. We managed to clean things up, get in a rhythm, even while battling. That was good. <laughs> Waiting for the instant jinx. Well, here comes the bus stop. This would be a chance. Sucked at that corner. This one too. As much as I've grown to kind of hate that corner right there back there, it is pretty satisfying the one time you do it right in a 60 minute race. That was not that time, but it's one of those corners where if you hit it just right and you're coming out of it, you're like, yeah. Makes it all worth it. Explode dropping the tier two sub. A tier two sub for three months in a row. Explode. Holy. Tier two sub, guys. Can we get some tryhards in the chat for Explode? Appreciate it, dude. That's epic. That's not your throwaway. Oh! Stay, stay. That was some lap GTE car. Was I talking shit about Twitch Prime users? I'll shut up now.
<laughs> Tier 2 sub, though. That's pretty insane, brother. I'm going to get those Tier 2 and Tier 3 uh, emotes, I swear. One of these days. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Exonerageous, welcome. Twitch Prime. I was just kidding. Sorry, Diego. I'm gonna battle. <laughs> Rayback, yeah. That was blood money. One, He's got blood on his hands. Jeff Bezos has blood on his hands because he handles dry cardboard boxes in the shipping facility all day and they just get so his hands just get so dried out and they crack and it starts bleeding it's a really rough world he works in the factories right GT Shacker. My face is really warm right now. Oh, I didn't tell you about the freaking boneheaded mistake I made today at work, and I ate a half an hour of my own time because of it, because I'm such a nice guy. Let me do a pit stop before I start telling stupid stories. It's really stupid. It's not even a story. I guess I could tell you. So I had to, I had, I went, I had to go to uh, our uh, headquarters, our company headquarters, and it's like an hour away, you know. One and sometimes we have to. Uh, they send someone, they'll send someone to the different offices to drop stuff off or mostly just paperwork, you know? And yesterday, because we've been kind of slow, and, then, and, and yesterday, they're like, hey, why don't you head over to the headquarters, drop the stuff off, you know? And uh, I'm like, ah, oh, okay. Which is sweet. It's a great thing to do. Yeah, we're boxing this lap, yep. Which is a great thing to do because it's like two hours of windshield time and you're just cruising, you know? You don't, you don't got a care in the world. And so today, they're like, hey, you know how you uh, dropped some stuff off at headquarters yesterday? Oh, we need you to do it again. And I was like, but it, it, it wasn't clarified that well. And he's like, hey, Mr. Postman, you're, you're the guy. And they had a bunch of packets sitting there. I'm like, oh, okay. And I should have clarified on what, on whether or not it was going to headquarters or not. Because we have other branches, you know? And I didn't clarify, and I thought it was weird that they would send me two days in a row to the same office, you know? So, I, I had some stuff I finished up, and then I grabbed the shit, and I just left, you know? And then I got all the way there, dropped it off, got in my truck, started driving away. I get no more than, like, a block away, and my boss calls me. He's like, he's like, yeah, they just called me at the headquarters. Uh, that stuff was supposed to go to our Rockford office. I'm like, uh, what? I'm like, really? And They're like, yeah. Bop, 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 That's right a penalty. Four month of funny moments. Thanks, Matt. Oh yeah, really funny. And so I'm like, ah shit. So I look at the time, I look at Google Maps, I look at the time, I look at Google Maps. And I'm like, oh shit. And I was like, eh, it's my fault, you know? I'm like, this is definitely my fault. I should have clarified, like, I should have asked them. 
So I'm like, ah, I'll just eat it, you know? So that's what I did. Drove like an hour and a half to the other one, and then like an hour back to the shop. I was like, yeah, whatever. Is what it is, you know? So I can't really charge overtime for a mistake that I made. To be fair, though, I think it was like 80-20. I'll give them 80-20. It was 20% their fault for not clarifying. Like, why do I have to ask, you know? But whatever, it's fine. So that's why I was a little late today. There was a lot of windshield time. Some of it I didn't get paid for, but whatever. Hey, maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's a reason I've been there for 14 years. I make bonehead mistakes, and then I take care. I, I fix my mistakes. I'm a company man. It's a 60-50, yeah, as Quirk would say. It's an 80-30. Yeah. Vax Bass dropping four months. Appreciate it, dude. Welcome back. That's on them for not making it clear. Super easy for me just to ask them. And even on the packets, it said what town. I was, I think I was just looking to get out of there as quick as I could, and I'm like, get me out of this lab, you know? I'm like, I'll go for a cruise. So I've been, I was in the car today driving for, I don't know, probably three, three and a half hours total. Then I get home and I drive fake for three, three and a half hours. It's great. <laughs> on your right. Oh, dude, driving on the open road, dude, seeing the sights, seeing the sounds. I didn't see any sounds. I'm sorry. That was a uh, mistake. I misspoke. If you drop some acid, you could see some sounds. But, um. Yeah, dude, it's fun. Unless you're in a hurry, then it's no fun. Because then I was, like, trying to hurry up. So, and like, LMP1, I know I'm on my time, you know? Thanks for your patience. So. But, yeah, if you're just cruising, like, you got, you don't have a care in the world, and you're on the, you get paid by the hour, there's nothing better, man. Put on, put on a nice podcast, just chill. When's the big day? At the end of the month. And tomorrow is Samantha's friend's wedding, where Samantha is the maid of honor. So I gotta go to that. Tonight's the rehearsal, but I'm not going to that. Oh, I listened to Joe Rogan's podcast. I only agree with Joe Rogan about 20% of the time with things. And his guests. I still listen to it. It's fine. Open bar? Tomorrow at the wedding? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. JRE. Yeah, Joe Rogan podcast. I just listened to it on YouTube. Or I watch it on YouTube while I oh, drive. Cool. No, I don't. I'll have it on, but if they show something on screen, I'll glance over. But yeah, the wedding's this month. We're figuring out the seating chart. Hans is gonna sit with Judd. That's all we got figured out, really. Yeah. Yeah, the Joe Rogan podcast is okay. It's a lot of hippie dippy bullshit sometimes, but it's okay. It's it's fun because it's the best because there's no commercials. There, no one's like all hyped up and like trying to sell a fucking book. Like I hate that. In some shows, where like the only reason they're there is to promote their shit, and it doesn't feel natural. Like at least with the Joe Rogan show, it's two people just talking, you know, and that's fine. That's that's what a podcast should be. You're not you're not trying to like overly hype your book. Like if you mention it, that's one thing. But if you're like, well, hey, I got a New York bestseller. It's like, yeah, okay, dude. I'm not going to buy it. 
but it's good. It, a lot of the stuff doesn't convince me, and it's just fun to think about. A lot, you know. I mean, I I have really crazy views on a lot of stuff, but I'm not like I I, I like to hear all of the different sides of everything, you know. So like his whole like. If you listen to one Joe Rogan show, you've listened to them all, you know? He's gonna mention the stoned ape theory. He's gonna mention the ketogenic diet. He's gonna mention, you know, it's like certain things he's on about, which some of it's true, some of it's not, but. But I'll tell you one thing, just because a scientist wrote a book and they have him on podcasts and he's popular, it doesn't make his shit real at all. It's just a theory and he can, he, he's able to explain it. People that are able to explain their theory better than others are usually the ones that prevail and are like believed by, you know, it's like, I don't believe shit. They just do it to sell books. Like, I mean, they may believe it themselves, but eh, I'm not going to believe it just because I've seen a bunch of stuff on it or listen to a bunch of stuff on it. Eh. It's interesting, but... But my brother is, like, the opposite. Like, he'll listen to, like, one podcast about, like, some crazy freaking... Who knows? Like, for an example, this isn't... I'm not saying my brother believes this, but as an example, like, ancient alien stuff, you know? He'll listen to like one podcast about it and be like, dude, it's all real, man. There's aliens and stuff. Like, I'm not like that at all. Like, I just listen to him like, oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. But I still have my own core beliefs and, yeah. I'm not very convincing, I should say it. But I, but I love to listen to everything. Like, I listen with an open mind and I'm like, oh, and I, and I you know, think about it. But I'm not like, yeah, I go up, oh, that's it, that's the fact, 100%. Like, oh man, I, I can't believe I didn't know this this whole time. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of mysteries in this world, you know? A lot of mysteries. I figured you were close enough. A lot of things just people have no idea about. And they, you, we probably never will, you know? But it's fun to speculate, you know? That's half of science anyway, is just speculation. Just because one guy that wrote a book and has a has a degree speculated it in one way doesn't make it true. You can speculate in a different way, and it's just as valid in my mind. Oh yeah, old Joe is hardly listenable. Yeah, he's become very good at doing a podcast. I mean, if you do anything that many times or for that long, you're gonna get good at it. But yeah. Hey Mike, what's up? So I think we're settling for third, is that what we're doing? Eddie Bravo? Yeah, Eddie Bravo. Look into it, bro. Oh, that guy. But I tell you what though, the whole... Like, I, I know of some conspiracies that I semi-believe in, you know? But uh, people like Eddie Bravo, and I think the root of where some of my beliefs in some conspiracies exist is just the distrust of authority. Like, I don't trust the government because they've been known to lie to us, and so I can't trust them anymore. So when they tell me something, I'm like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> but, like, certain things, like uh, corporations and government and, like, everyone in charge, it's like... I have a really hard time trusting them because they've messed, like, fucked us over so many times. And, like, I think that's where the root of all the major conspiracies come from. Is, like, people just don't trust anybody anymore. And I don't blame them. I really don't blame them. You know? Oh, James Sounders disconnected. How could it be? <laughs> Do I think Bush did 9-11? Yeah, he threw a couple firecrackers at the buildings and they came down, yeah, for sure. <laughs> He's like, we 
We're gonna get those evildoers. <laughs> he reminds me of Beavis. Moon landing? I believe we went on moon, yes. Clear, clear, but I also, clear. I think it's possible, I can't prove it. I think it's possible that some of this stuff could have been filmed or they could have had a studio somewhere. Because I've heard that, and I don't know if it's true, it's just interesting to think about. Bottom line is I think we went to the moon. But I think they might have had a studio set up just in case they were unable to get pictures or video because they didn't know. They'd never been to the moon before. They didn't know if we were going to be able to transmit, if it was going to work. You know, what if the video camera fucking borked out, you know? And it was like a really big deal that it was on TV. So I guess they could have had some sort of studio up, but I don't know. I, I can see how that could be possible, but I don't think I believe it 100%. But it would make sense, like that would be like, I would almost agree with that though. If I was in the government, I'd be like, you know, you should probably get a studio set up. Get that, Ku that Kubrick guy, help us out a little bit, because this is big. Like, we don't want to miss this opportunity, you know? Like, we're trying to win a freaking uh, space race here, you know? We don't want to, we don't want to screw it up, because no one would believe you if you went to the moon and you didn't take any pictures. I'd almost be for that policy. I, mean, I guess. Get a studio set up. How much is that going to cost us? A couple million? Alright. Sounds good. As a backup, you know? Who knows? Do you believe Al Gore invented the internet? No. <laughs> I believe Al Gore invented climate change, though. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's just a joke. It's a very inconvenient joke. Yours flat, right? Yeah, Illinois is pretty flat. Forty-two years and you're getting married. My little Maliner is all grown up. <laughs> my middle, my little Maliner. Your little Maliner. You have a little Maliner. You might want to get that checked out. Dustin, rank up gamers dropping in forty-two months, man. That's a, that's insane. Sorry, sorry, I missed a bunch of chat, but. It's hard to talk, drive, and read chat. <laughs> i just been rambling, huh? Whatever. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to release a bunch of stuff about JFK being shot, too. Wasn't that, like, a big deal? It was, like, right around the time... Trump got into president or right before he did it like ended up being a certain year where certain documents were going to be released and then nobody ever heard anything about I don't know I never heard anything about it maybe they were released and people have to take a look at him and formulate an opinion I have no idea whole JFK thing though man I don't know I haven't really I don't really know uh, what I believe that I guess the guy could do it alone but probably not who knows? <laughs> they released a bunch of documents, yeah. They had a lot redacted, yeah. Tupac's alive, for sure. You saw Elvis yesterday. I hate little Maloners, they're so itchy. Yes. Oh, white flag! Sweet, dude. Third place, pretty good. Bring it down, pit this time, pit this time. White flags. The comedian shot JFK. Yeah. Pit this time, pit this time. <laughs> Dustin, yeah, that's what all those documents look like. Freedom of Inf Information Act, my ass. Well, I still believe Spider Man was an actual government mutation invention that they made. And then, to like, hide it in plain sight, they just made comic books of Thank it. Thank you. Eh? Eh? They mixed like a human with a spider. <laughs> Frost Aviation dropping this sub, welcome dude. Appreciate it. You know. Same thing with like Superman, you know? Back in like the 40s. 
like, you know, you know, like Roswell and stuff. I'm not sure when that happened, but 40s, 50s, 60s. And uh, it was Superman came to the planet, and they're like, oh man, how are we gonna cover this up, you know? I just made a comic book out of it. That guy died. No one's gonna push him? He's out of fuel. I'm not pushing him. Go around and push him? Alright. The Easter Bunny's fake? Now that's... That's new information. I have not heard that. I had no idea. Hey, thanks, Lebowski. I am driving the Ford, yep. Good effort, bud. Oh, man. Get the fuck off the track! Gavin! Omega wall. No more incident points yet. We did good. You can protest that guy for swearing, yeah? I'm coming to push people. Here I come. Uh, pretty sure push is against the sporting code. Anyways. Well, the result's already posted, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it's just if somebody protests it, I don't know. Yeah, let's see if he protests this. Here comes the push. Oh, where'd you go, buddy? Oh, he's behind me. He's dead. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I got you, bro. Oh, look no out. No problem. No problem. Hey, hey, no problem. Oh, look out. <laughs> I got you, dude. Oh, here we go. I think I pushed him a little too hard there. Here we go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, I got you this time. Yeah, just get on my back. Yeah, piggyback what? style. Yeah, yeah. Get <laughs> It doesn't count. It's already past the race. Way too slow is dropping this sub. 20 months in a row. Appreciate it, dude. Alright. <laughs> oh, man. Crack myself up. <sighs> Have you never seen a race? <laughs> Ooh, man. My car doesn't sound too good. That's what I wanted to do to every HPD in the entire race. <laughs> Alright, let's do the turkey timeline. Alright, now that I'm out of the car, I can actually hear people. How loud you got it in there? Elmo, yeah, thanks for the, the phone. I the nose off you there, Matt. There, that's uh, the time going up into uh, 9. Are you talking to me? Eh, no worries. I had a good race. I mean, hey, not bad for my first outing. I've never driven the Porsche before, so... Oh, damn. Yeah, that car scares me. Even when I'm not driving it. <laughs> for some reason, it just feels scarier than the Audi. I don't, I don't really know why. Yes. My one and only mess-ups... I didn't have any S-ups. Mess-ups. Was iRacing made by Apple? There's still the huh? Hope to see more of that in the future. It was made by, um, what the hell's his name? The guy that owns a baseball team. Or he funded it. I don't know. Papyrus? I don't know. I don't know, it wasn't there. John Henry. John Henry got it started. John Henry hammered in the mountains. He was a steel driving man. And then he invented eye racing. Ugh. Uh, you can set up a button, Frost Aviation, to go to next incident and previous incident. 
forged eye racing out of steel. That's right. Was this race broadcasting? What by uh, race spot? No, I'm race spot. Nah, I don't know. Where's your mishap? Yeah, I didn't know if somebody did like a Friday night, whatever. Oh. No, it used to, but that that's like European time. That's at like two o'clock in the afternoon, my time. Yeah, I forgot about that incident I had I that late too. I cars they do. Yeah, and it was a very interesting finish to that race tonight. Yeah, Jake was telling me about that. Very, uh, very IndyCar community, I, I will say. It's fitting. What's he talking about? I won't disagree. I won't go into what actually happened, but uh, I'm siding with uh, Henry here. <coughs> I didn't see it. I just heard it, so I don't really. Uh, and then uh, then I, I guess Will was kind of uh, <laughs> Jerry Springering his way in the interview or something. I don't know. I, um... It was a good time. So. I believe this was partially my fault. I didn't wreck the car and I only got like three And I'm going to show you why. I'm happy with that. As a car on the track, I have to share it with this guy, okay? Now this is not really part of the track, this white line. So really, I'm a full car length in his lane. I should be way over here if I need to allow for him to be there. I mean, when I decided to go through the bus stop knowing he was there, I decided to go too wide and I should have left more room to the left for him to kind of, especially because he's all out of sorts. He's going to need extra room. I need to be like to the right of this white patch, really, or at least give him some more room. So in hindsight, looking at it, I should have given more room. Well, in that case, I was the passing car. Because I was the faster car in that situation. Yeah, you can't drive like he isn't there. Exactly, D-Wolf, and that's pretty much what I did. Yep. Oh, we got a three wide. Yeah, take responsibility. I, I had to look at it. I... I didn't think I didn't give him any room. I thought I gave him a little bit more room than what the replay showed, but apparent. I mean, when you remember something, when it happened is different than what actually happened. That was a little BS. Let's see what's coming up at the bottom of the hour. There you go. I got third place. It was fun. 